Y'all, I had the most incredible special moment with someone on my team today. We had a little breakthrough in an otherwise normal status meeting and she actually started to cry. These were tears of relief and joy because after death by outline, we decided to abandon our standard work process so she could have the freedom and autonomy that she needed to be successful. It was a really raw moment. She was embarrassed and I felt like I had been given this beautiful gift because she reminded me that people come first. I recently read somewhere that you should tell people what needs to get done, but you shouldn't tell them how to do it. Then you just let them surprise you, you see what happens. And I got to put that into practice today. She texted me later on and she said that she felt like a thousand pounds had been lifted off of her. Can you imagine? Think about that. You have so much anxiety and frustration using a tool that's for your benefit that you can feel the weight of it bearing down on you. The process we were using was crippling her. So we threw it out. She's taking a week to work on the project the way she wants to, how she wants to, and then we'll come back and together decide on next steps. A process is as only as good as its execution. So if we're not executing, then the process isn't working and we need to figure out a different solution to implement. I'm not trying to be fluffy here, all right? I am an efficiency junkie, okay? I have an operator mindset. I think in process. I think in checklists and flowcharts. I can't even go to the grocery store without an optimized plan of attack. But I know that not everyone thinks and works like I do. What I care about more than process are people and outcomes. Who cares if she doesn't do the work the way that I would do it? Who cares if she doesn't follow the standard procedure? It's okay. If we're meeting our objectives and getting the work done, that's a win in my book. So here's the bottom line. Processes, flowcharts, checklists, all of these are really great tools to create guardrails on how we work. But if we're working for outcomes and the tools aren't helping us to get the outcomes we want, then it's totally okay to pivot. We have to meet people where they're at. And that might mean coming up with a different solution to meet their working process. Empowerment is about making feeling or making people feel confident and capable in what they're doing. And that includes the tools they're using for their work. Do you agree with me? Let me know what you think. Thanks y'all.